hello guys i hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video so in this one we are going to look at this quality of life extension it gives you very useful information about your scene and it has also some functionalities that can increase your efficiency when you are working in Unreal. in order to get it just go to the marketplace and search for editor tools and quality of life extension install it to the engine version you are working with and then here in the plugins search for qol and enable the plugin and restart your editor then you'll have this icon here and when you click on it you can have the plugin let me disable this and here you can see that uh, you can put it wherever you like first we have this optimization details tab here here i have the total triangle counts in my level as you can see i have about 5.5 million triangles in my level and when i select something in the level here i can have the triangle count for the selected object next we have this memory used here here is the memory consumption for our textures here we can change the pool size by typing r dot streaming dot pool size and for example if we set it on 500 and then update we can see that it's set on 500 let's put it back on for example 8000 and you can see that when you hit this icon you can update your memory consumption based on the value you input in your console command here we have uh, a couple of statistics about our frames our draw our gpu time and also rhi you can enable and disable this when you want to optimize uh, your scene and also here you can group actors by just selecting them entering a name here for example group one and creating a group then here you can easily select the groups you make here and also you can just easily remove it here we have the uvs and you can see your different uv channels here for your objects and next we have this isolate selected actors and also this ghost mode this enables you to keep the other objects in the scene but uh, get the main focus on the object you select and you want to work with for example when you want to work with something that it's under the other objects you can use this ghost mode and look at it like this here we also have a couple of console commands for example you can hide your decals your static meshes your skeletal meshes uh, your lights your post processing and you don't need to enter their console commands here just uh, check and uncheck these options and this way you can easily uh, tweak your scene another very cool feature here is this organizing tools this button organize outliner enables us to organize all the objects in the scene based on their category when you hit this it will create folders and put everything in the folders based on the categories um, 
this project is pretty clean and organized so let me uh, create a new level and showcase this option to you guys So here I have uh, made a new level and threw in a bunch of stuff here. They have uh, different types and I don't have any organization or folder in my outliner. Here you can see that when I hit this organize outliner, it will create folders, name them, and then put all the actors inside the folders based on their types. Here I have the lights, I have the static meshes, I have post-process and this is very useful when you want to work fast and you are just able to organize everything by clicking on one button. Alright, next we have this delete empty folders. This is pretty self-explanatory. It will uh, delete the folders that there is nothing inside them. So when you hit it, it will show the name of the folder that it wants to delete. And when you hit yes, the empty folder is gone. Next, we have prefixes batch rename. When you have, uh, for example, blueprints and you just name them without any prefixes, you can use this and add prefixes to the name of the blueprints. You can just select everything you have and then hit this. And now you can see that the names are changed to BP and the name you input. It will obviously also work for the levels, for the materials and everything you have in your content browser. And the final thing I want to talk about is this delete unused assets. It will find anything that is not used in your projects and you can just use this to reduce the size of your project and get rid of anything that is not used in your levels. Yeah, these are all the assets that are unused and you can just easily delete them by using this option here. These three are these blueprints that I made right now. And the way it uh, chooses the assets is based on their references. So if we open up the reference viewer, you can see that this is not referenced by anything, which means that it's not used in our project. So it will be deleted. But if uh, the asset is referenced by other things in the project it will not be selected for uh, being deleted using this option here yeah that's it guys this is a very useful plugin and it's also free so i really recommend uh, downloading it and add it to your projects and use it in your workflows thank you guys for watching see you next time